Hey guys, today we are going to be making an Earth Day collage. And to get started, all you're going to need is some sort of glue. You can use white glue or glue stick, a pencil, something round to trace for our Earth, a paper you're going to be working on, and then maybe some magazines or scrap paper or anything you can use to tear up. You will not be keeping it, so make sure you ask permission if you need to borrow it from someone else, okay? To get started, put our magazines to the side. We'll get those later. And we need to first trace something circular to make the outline for our earth. So I just have this lid off of a bowl from the kitchen and I'm gonna center it as close as possible to the middle of my paper. And with a pencil, I'm going to lightly draw the circle around. When you're done, that's all we needed the lid for. Put that one to the side. The next thing we need to do is do a really quick sketch of our Earth, well, where the continents are on our Earth. I think because we live in the United States, I'm going to make mine so it has North America over here, connected to South America, and then maybe the West Coast of Africa on this side. So we are going to start at the top, do the west coast of our country, coming around Mexico, and then Central America connects to South America. And it's okay if it's not perfect because we're going to cover this in little scraps of paper anyway. Come back up, east coast, there's Florida. Coming back up into Canada, like that, okay? And this is all ice fields and islands, so let's go like that. Erase this part. Then on our side right here, let's add the west coast of Africa. Come in around like that. And the rest of it is oceans for the most part. So I think to keep it simple for what we're working on today, we won't add very much more of our continent. So don't worry about your drawing too much because like I said, we are going to tear up a bunch and we're going to make this look like a complete picture without using anything besides paper and glue from here on out, okay? The next thing you need to get is a magazine. We are going to be looking for blues and greens. We're going to do a gradient, which means going from lighter to darker with blues for our oceans. And we're gonna need green for all of our continents. So if you have a magazine, I need you to go pick it up and start tearing out different blues you can use and different greens. So I have some magazines here. I am going to search through them and in just a second, I'll have piles of blues and greens. Okay, now that I have my two piles of colors, I have my green pile here and my blue pile here, I think it's easiest to start by doing our continents first, and then we can add our water all the way around in our oceans, okay? So, I have a whole bunch of different greens here, and at this point, you are just going to start by tearing little pieces like this, and then the best Pro tip I can give you about gluing is to not glue necessarily on your paper, but instead to put your little piece of scrap that you're going to glue down on your glue stick, wiggle it around a little bit, peel it off, and then stick it where you want it. Remember, we are going to be doing overlapping pieces, and they are going to be totally filling in your entire continent. So it's okay if it's not exactly the right shape for what you need in that exact spot because you're just going to tear a new one to fill in the rest. So like that. And if it goes a little bit off, that is not a big deal. So continue with this process until you fill in your entire, all of your area of your continents. And then we will move on to our oceans.
Okay, once you have all of your continents filled in, you are going to move all those scraps to the side because you don't need those greens anymore. And the next thing we are going to do is line up our blues in a value scale. Remember, value goes from light to dark. And so I have a whole bunch of different, let's split this one because it is both light and dark. Okay, so once you have your value scale set up, we are going to have the darkest be on this side, because the earth turns this way, right? So the sun's going to be over here, so this side's going to be the lightest, and this side will be the darkest, because the sun isn't fully there yet. So, you can start on whichever side you'd like, and I think I'm going to just go this way, because it is the order that I put them in. And as we do this, we are just going to tear the same thing, little pieces at a time, lay them down, and then we're going to slowly blend them with a color that's just lighter than it. I think for this, because there's so much, I'm going to tear a whole bunch of pieces ahead of time, so it'll be easier just to grab them. Okay, once you get to this part, you are done gluing for the day. You need to just clear all your scraps to one side to go into the recycling bin later. The best part about this activity is that we are totally recycling materials. The only thing that is new is our background piece of paper, but really, you could use newspaper to do it on, you could do scrap paper, and then it would be a fully recycled project. All right, so I just cut out my earth collage and I used that opportunity to make sure I smoothed out my edges. You know how the little pieces go over the edge of your circle. So as you're cutting it out, don't feel bad about just trimming it off so it looks more like a perfect circle, okay? Our last step for this project is we are going to add a piece of black paper to be space for our earth. You get to decide which direction you would like your planet to be set. I kind of like mine at an angle like that, I think. Yes, right about there. If you want to add stars behind your earth, you can do that. If you want it to leave it just black, that's fine. Totally up to you. Um, I recommend using a white crayon if you want to just add some little stars by pushing your crayon down and twisting it to make little pin prick stars around your paper. They're light so they won't be so like overpowering. If you have like maybe a silver gel pen, that would also be a great way to add little dots of stars around your earth. So let me show you what that would look like. So then you have some stars in the background, okay? Totally up to you, your creation, your choice. So, I think I kind of like it. So I'm going to keep adding a couple more. And remember, if you try it out and you don't like it, you can always just flip your paper over. And I cut down a piece of paper, so I have two. So you could try out multiple styles and see which works the best for you. If you had silver glitter at home, you could ask a parent if that would be okay to add glitter. And I highly recommend asking before you get glitter all over your house, okay? Okay, so I think I have enough stars. And now I am just going to glue it down.
and I want my like that. Hold and press as always. All right, you guys, you are now finished with your earth collage. So please make sure you take a picture of it just like this so there's nothing in the background and you can crop it even so it's tight to your artwork. I hope you had fun and please make sure you upload it to Teams.